for somebody else who is a loved one who is facing a critical illness is challenging. I would just say, don't give up, press on. Sometimes to find your balance, you guys got to keep on going forward. As of now, when we are at Pasir Ris Park for lunch, we are at about 169, inclusive of a few kilometers here and there from uh, leaving from home. Uh, we're making good progress, we have about 90 plus to go. That should be sufficient to, by the time we get down to uh, end point. Yeah. I think it's good, we are feeling strong. Uh, we've got friends coming on in two shifts to help us. Good day to do this. Weather is good for the greater part of the morning, and I think the crew is kind of like uh, excited to do this as well. So it's all system go. I think you will be able to have a good start. Just some of us haven't ridden fully together before. There's also a curiosity about how we could synchronize each other. We are functioning as a team of individuals, right? Uh, with different riding styles, with different riding experiences. This is also about trying to function together. So I think that was an interesting thought process to go through. How do we function better together? How do we meet each other's needs more spontaneously? Right? Go faster, go slower, etc. One is jokes, uh, right? Or chat, some banter, some banter about family, talk about kids, how crazy we are in trying to do this thing, right? You know, I think having some light hearted moments reminds us that this is supposed to be, while it's difficult, we want to make it light and easy for everybody who's involved. So, friends, I would just say that number one, you could support the campaign by giving financially. A lot of the patients need, need help. Right, especially if there's caregivers and your families have been hit by a negative turn by COVID-19 on the economy. If you could, and if you know of somebody who's suffering from cancer, or a caregiver who's rendering care to a family member, maybe over uh, today and tomorrow, just drop a note of encouragement to them and say, Hi, how are you doing? And then maybe send up a coffee over and then Zoom uh, connection time together. And I think this would be really great to look for the both patients and caregivers will know that they are not alone.